Hi everyone. Right, um, I just want to share. I've got two, two of them. These are the brown and cream patchwork, and I've also put some of these in. to wrap your um, thread round individually. Now, I'm not getting it all out. It takes, oh, and you've got your uh, boxes as well, your tubs as well, with all your beads and trimmings in. Uh, lots of goodies in them. You've seen the others, they're all roughly the same. You get your chipboard, your wadding, uh, your fabrics for the front cover and the back, co uh, the inside cover. I've put ten of these in to wind your threads onto. I'm winding them onto card, but um, with these two kits, I'm going to wind them onto these. So it'll be one colour per tab. The plastic, so you can keep them. And like I say, it's got a variety of fabrics in there, browns and creams. And so there's two available if anybody wants these. They are £28 a kit, but for that, you're getting an awful lot of goodies. You're getting loads of fabrics and uh, trimmings. And the tub. And those. So that's £28 plus shipping if anybody's interested, browns and creams. And there's only two available, so it's first come, first serve. That's that. I'm also just putting these on. The mixed bags, you've got lamp work beads, 12 lamp work beads and 12 glass beads. Okay, so they're just mixed bead bags. I will be putting these on for sale as well. So that's those. The other thing I want to share with you is, are these. Do you remember when I did the um, paper? Where did I put my area? I need my bag. Where's my bag? No, 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 not that one. Fee, come on, wake up, girl. Do you remember when I did the papers? Um, using that tall... Let me have a look. Mod Podge. Do you remember? I was using the Mod Podge. Well, I'm going to be doing that again because I've got I've cut some of these out and I'm going to be doing them as, uh, like, in a sheet. Um... You'll see what I mean when they're done. So basically, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge to go over here. And then pop these on. And then just go over them. The thicker you put it on, um, obviously the thicker it is when it comes off and less likely to rip. So, I just wanted to cut some little pieces out and play around with them. And there you go, that's all you do. And then when they're dry, you can rip them off, tear them off, whatever you want to do with them, and uh, use them on your projects. So you don't just have to do this sort of thing with them. Um, although they're nice, I painted mine at the back. So I'm gonna leave that to dry. I'm gonna keep that one as is, I like that one. You can use it as a page. Uh, thank you to everybody who's bought the kits. I do have 
um, a black one, a black and white one to make for a lady that's asked. She saw the one I did and wanted to know if I'll do her one. Um, I have explained that it won't be identical, but it'll be almost similar. It'll be a good one no matter what. So I will do my best. Okay, so I'm just going to sort this one out. Now, where's that one I started? Oops, I have pulled that apart, but I'm not fussed about that. I can rip bits off. Okay, so I'm going to do another one here. And don't forget, you have to take the two back pieces off. You know, you have to take them off, otherwise it doesn't work. But you can do it using fabrics, which I'm going to share with you shortly. Right, that's it. I haven't got one small enough to fit in that area there. And that's all you do. Leave them to dry and then peel them off and use them in your projects. They look great. Scrapbookers, why not? Don't forget, run along to the shop. You buy these in a pack of 10. The uh, lamp work beads, there's 12 and 12 glass beads. And the two uh, brown and cream kits. If you want the brown and cream kit, stay on this video. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.